You know, in my last video about this, people complained. They said that the five minutes was too long, that they'd have no chance, that they needed something faster. Okay. I got you. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys another method of how you can get a hold of these new 6800 XT cards that are dropping tomorrow, or if you're still trying to get a hold of the RTX 3000 series cards, or if you're still trying to get a 5000 series CPU. Whatever it is you're trying to get, I got another method for you guys. Some people had complained about it not being fast enough, and somebody in the comments was kind enough to let me know about another method. I've checked it out, it works, it's legit, and you're not gonna be stuck on just Best Buy this time. This works on any website. Let's get into it. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so like I said, I do have another method for you. And this method is going to be more advantageous for the people that'll be actually sitting at their PCs. So I just wanna be transparent in that regard. But there are still fairly great advantages to this method. One of those being it works on any website. It is not restricted to Best Buy. So this isn't gonna just be restricted to Best Buy, works on any website, and also the intervals on this thing are gonna be five seconds instead of the five minutes for free on the other method that we saw. So this one, five seconds, any website, already it's already kind of sounding good. But where it kind of gets into the disadvantages of it and wanting to be able to have that freedom and maybe not be at your PC and try to use an app is kind of where this gets restrictive. So that's why I say if you're actually sitting at your PC, this one is going to be more advantageous for you guys. So let's get into it. I'll show you how to do it. So first off, this is going to be a Chrome extension. And this Chrome extension is going to be called Distill Web Monitor. So you're going to go ahead and Google that. So we'll just Google it right here, Distill web monitor and then it should pop up should be the second one uh, should say chrome.google.com you'll click that one and I've already added it to my extension so what you'll need to do is click the big blue button that'll be here it should say add to and then once you've done that and installed it then we can get into it now like I said this does work for any website so instead of going bestbuy.com this time let's go ahead and let's hit new egg so we'll go ahead and new egg. Let's just say we're trying to get the new 5000 series CPUs. So what we'll do is just go down here. We'll look for the one that we want. And we don't care about a bundle. We just want the CPU itself. So we'll go ahead and click this one. So now that we're here, this is where this, this is why this allows us to use any website, which is pretty dang good. So then we're gonna go up here into the top right into our extensions. You should see a little raindrop thing. It should even say the name if you hover over it, Distill Web Monitor, so you'll click that. So then it gives us the option to actually monitor the full page or select parts of the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a part of this page because I'm only interested in a specific part changing here. And currently this says out of stock. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight that portion. Now you can see kind of slightly, it's kind of bordering a little bit of the parts of this website here. So that's what it's talking about. It's gonna monitor those parts of the page. So I'm, I'm concerned about this out of stock. I don't wanna see that. I want to let me know when it's not out of stock. So that's what I've highlighted here. So we're going to go down to the bottom after we've got it highlighted, make sure it says whatever you've tried to highlight, mine says out of the stock at the bottom. So save selection. Then it's going to take us to the extension to the website here. So now it's got the name for it and it's got the device and the link. Now here we can do schedule our checks and this is why this one's really good here because instead of the five minutes on the other one, we can actually take this all the way down to five seconds for free, which that's nice. So we've got it there at five seconds. So now it's letting us know every five seconds, but in the actions, we can actually decide 
what we want it to sound like, whether we want it to be a buzzer, ding dong, bell strike, whatever it may be that you want it to be. So from there, we gotta choose what we want the notification to be at. So we've got a few different things that we can do. And this is kind of where this kind of translates a little differently from the other one. And why, if you're sitting at your PC, you have actually a better advantage, which you know you would anyway, being sitting at your PC, but you can afford to mess up and not be F5ing multiple web pages with this method, which is great. So we're gonna add an action. Now, I'll just like to point out at the very bottom, and this is why I was saying this, you can't, you can't get the text messages sent to your phone unless you pay. Now, and it does tell you at the very bottom, it's got the little uh, asterisk there that says four paid customers. So it, these last four options, or five options actually, you cannot get without paying. So what you can do though, if you want, you can pay obviously, but you can have them send it to your email. You can have them open up a page in the tab. So if you've got um, Chrome open or Google open, if you're not even looking or on the website or whatever, you're doing something completely else, it doesn't even matter. As long as you've got Google open or Google Chrome open, it will open up a page for that URL whenever it changes, which is pretty cool. You can also get a pop-up notification. So that's cool. You can have that sent. And then you can have the audio like we already saw before. You can have them do that audio. Premium features get premium results, guys. So that's just kind of the nature of it. You know, they're running a business. So of course, you can't expect to get everything for free, but you get a very big advantage if you are sitting here camping your computer anyway to getting those notifications and letting you know in those five second intervals of whenever something goes live, it tells you, which is great. You know, I, you can't really beat that and it's any website you want it for. So guys, that's that's basically it. You know, once you have whatever it is you want, you're gonna save it. And then all your monitors you have set and waiting, it'll show them here and you can turn them on and off whenever you want. You can change them however you see fit. Okay guys, so that's gonna be that method. It is not very complicated at all. And I actually think it's a little bit easier to set up versus the last method that I gave you. And obviously, like I said, this is gonna be more advantageous to the people that are gonna actually be sitting at their computers because this will actually give you all those different kinds of notifications that you can set up if you wanna use them. So this is a great method for those that are gonna be stuck on their computer all day like me, I'll definitely be on mine. So this is a great method for me or anybody else trying to get a hold of whatever it is they're wanting. This works for literally anything. So this is a actually fantastic method. So shout out to the guy that went ahead and let me know about this one and so I could give it to you. Now, I do wanna go ahead and show some appreciation to my Patreons. I have gotten a new one added to the list. And so now I'm at two, which I'm so grateful for. Thank you so, so, so very much. I appreciate you guys. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate you guys watching. If you made it this far watching the video, I appreciate you too. So I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate you, I definitely do. I am gonna be doing some how-tos for building a PC. If that's something that you guys are interested in, I plan on getting that done in the next week or so. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Just wanted to let you guys know that if that's something you might be interested in. That's gonna do it for the video. Now, if you do have any other questions, confusions, concerns, whatever it may be, please don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping, I promise. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here and I hope y'all wanna be a part of it. A simple like, a share, a comment, subscribe, they go so far for the channel. They really helped me continue to make content and stay in this space and grow. So if there was something that you didn't like, or thought I could have done better, whatever it may be, please feel free, leave a thumbs down. I just ask you to let me know what it was so I can continue and improve. I can't do better if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So please let me know. With that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe specifically. We'll see.